I love this man. I love him deeply. One of the best teammates anybody can have, certainly in the television business. Anybody who's teammates with him would tell you that. We're not talking to him as a teammate right now. <laughs> we've talked Definitely to him as not. we've talked to him as Cody Prime, Coach of the Year Prime. <laughs> Say it again. Cody Prime. C O T Y Prime. Coach of the Year Prime has joined this program before. We're not talking to Cody Prime today on the Mercedes Benz Vans phone line. No. We are talking to the comeback player of the year prime. <laughs> on behalf of Restore. C-P-O-Y. On behalf of Restore. The head coach of the four and O Jackson mm-hmm. State football team. Yeah. Is Deion Sanders here on the Rich Eisen Show? How you doing, uh, Comeback Player of the Year Prime? What's going on? So subliminal messages: the Comeback Player of the Year. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> you know, just just the head coach. I mean, just all those subliminal yes. messages were awesome, Rich. Well, listen, Prime. <laughs> I'm bringing my A game because I knew I was saying going to break that if this is a media tour you are conducting on behalf of the non-surgical hair restoration method that's uh, caused you to be the Comeback Player of the Year. And your immense success since doing it, not like prior to that, you were, you know, a slouch. Um, I, I just knew that whatever tour you were on, you knew whatever conversations you were having before or after would not be like the one we're currently endeavoring right now, Prime. <laughs> it never will be, it never is. We always make national headlines, so I'm just waiting to see <laughs> oh, yes. what's going to be national oh, yeah. that we talk about. Oh, I've got that. I've got that. Oh, I've got that. I'm pretty sure. I've got that I'm in my back sure. pocket, Prime. Oh, I know that. I know that for sure. Pro. Let's, so let's get the business out of it. <laughs> yes. Com. Yes. You can make a comeback like me and many of my friends that I don't want to call their names because they're not as confident as I am with their comebacks. Mm-hmm. But they have some tremendous comebacks. But I, I think I'm going back though, Rich. I got a little crown like in the in the mm. back that I'm going to get that filled. It's like you know. I got to just fill that crown up, and I'm good. What do you got? You got like a what a McNabb thing going? Is that what you're talking about? No, no, no. No. no? What is the McNabb thing? Wasn't it? Didn't he? It. Didn't he start losing it in the back? You know, in the front too. Didn't he start doing that? LeBron? Didn't LeBron start doing that too? Is, by the way, is LeBron doing this? Is he? Is LeBron doing this, Prime? What do you think? I don't think so. I think LeBron let it go. I, I heard that. I don't, I don't know. know for sure. Yeah, he had a full know. head of hair on Monday. Uh, yeah, he's he he showed up to oh, the Lake. Yeah, yeah, he showed up to yeah. the he showed up to the Lakers uh, media day. Uh, com- he's, he's the comeback player of the year yeah. already, I think, in the NBA. That's what it looked like to me. Wow. Now, now you know Jason Witt was the comeback player at one point. <laughs> you <remember> that? <laughs> Jason Witt. I noticed that. I noticed. I think Breeze yeah. was a comeback player of the year. Yeah, Breeze. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A few of those guys have been comeback guys, and they but they don't they won't say anything about them. You should be proud when you make a comeback like that. Well, you know, uh, I I I don't know what to say, Dion. Other than the fact that it looks good on you. Um, I I don't, how long would it take for me to get something like that? How long would it take? Um, <laughs> they'll come all the way back. I had to think, Rich, because we're you know it's not ordinary. Um, <laughs> It's not ordinary. Uh, <laughs> you know, but I, I would say a full comeback, mm. probably several months. Whoa. I don't have that yeah. time. I'm on the air every day, Dion. I, can, I don't have that time. But you could, you could hat it up. I mean, you could hat it up. Yeah. Well, I don't have my rakish hat with me in studio. I took that home. Hat it up. Is that right? You hat it up. You know what? The latest comeback, Samari Roll. I could say his name because he's proud. Okay. Samari Roll. All right. Samari Roll is a comeback player of the year. Okay. Yeah, he's making a comeback right now. Okay. All right. Yeah. And restorehair.com, and you can return mm-hmm. your to your normal routine and become coach of the year. You could do that too. Yeah. All right, Prime. Most definitely. Okay. Let's t- let's talk for real here. Okay. Let's jump there you in. Go. Okay. You ready for you ready for some real talk? Um, let's get to the nitty-gritty. Let's get to the nitty-gritty. Okay, let's start with your current football team and your current quarterback. I saw you were talking about your quarterback should be in the Heisman race, right? Yep. Didn't stutter, nor did I stumble. So why do you think Shador is not in, this, in, the, in the Heisman talk right now, Prime? Because uh, we're at Jackson State, and the search for equality is a consistent search. We're often underfunded and overlooked, and I'm not going to allow that. Not either one. So Shador, when you look at numbers, then you don't have to just look at numbers because people just say numbers. Well, what about this kid playing at this college and that college? And you, you, the level of them are different. When a pro sees a kid, I don't give a darn if he's at Slippery Rock. If he can ball, he can ball. And a pro knows that. 
I just happened to have pro eyes that played 14 years and was with the NFL Network another 14. So I'm really pretty much darn near 30 years in the game. Mm -hmm. I know a pro when I see a pro. Like when I say that guy is a pro or this guy we played against is a pro or this receiver I have on my team is a pro, I'm just validating I know what it looks like. And he just happens to be your son. You, I'm sure you're hearing that yeah, too. So, to okay, yeah, but it, it 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 has nothing to do with that. I promise you, this has nothing to do with that. This has something to do with just. I mean, the kid was 21 to 24 at halftime. <laughs> I mean, it, and it ended up 41 for 50, 430 yards. Like like, and just spinning it, man. Seven yards off the current FBS leader in uh, Michael Penix Jr. up in Washington. 14 touchdowns, completing 75% of his passes. But you know the pushback is going to be the level of competition you're facing at the level you're you're coaching at, Dion. Yeah, right? but, I mean, they're drafting kids from HBCU. They're drafting kids from FBS, right? Mm -hmm. FCS, FBS. They're drafting kids from both of these conferences. So if you're draftable and kids are going to pros from these conferences, why can't they be considered? Give me a comp. I'm just asking the question. What's the comp? You know how that works in the NFL? They're like, what's the comp? What's your kid's comp for the NFL? What do you got? What do you mean? Who's the comp? Like, what's the what's the quarterback uh, comparison that you have that he would compare I to? Can't, I can't. I can't even say that, and I wouldn't dare to say that. I don't. I don't think he looks like anyone. Like, I don't because uh, he, the kid has it, man. Our, our team has. We have several guys. I mean, we just had three scouts today here. I mean, we have scouts here every day now. It, it's that's how. That's where we are right now. Scouts are coming every day. Well, that's part of the plan. And you know the part of the, the, the real world, too, Prime, is, uh, is that, you know, when jobs in FBS open up and they might be, uh, you know, intertwined with your previous stops or DNA, football DNA, you'll get mentioned. Uh, Georgia Tech's gig is open. Your name has been bandied about quite a bit. You hearing that? I like that word. You, you said bandied. Bandied about. Yes, being thrown I never about. I heard that, Rich. I, I like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that in a sentence. Anytime. Any time. about. Yes, sir. It, 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 it's, it's nice to be mentioned. It's even nice to be, um, you know, like, so you saying a guy um, can come from HBCUs and coach at a higher level, but the quarterback shouldn't be considered. Mm, look at you turning it. <laughs> oh, you're so good. You are so good. But the quarterback shouldn't be considered at the next level. I, I don't know how that works. Yes, it it works that yes that you're good enough to step up to the next level, but you know your your quarterback is evaluated differently. But still, the question stands because again we're 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 real talk, right? So would right, real talk. Real, does real that talk. does that interest? If inter I were to go, yeah. If I were to go to the next level, you don't think the quarterback is going to the next level? <laughs> okay, so you'd you'd bring him to you'd bring him to Georgia Tech Prime. Is that what you're saying? First of all, I hadn't said anything about Georgia Tech. You had okay? That is correct. Uh, yes. What I'm saying is yes. it's just funny that you say I'm good enough and my name is being um, bandied about. Like ba a, bandied like, about. Yeah, you, you, yes. Tossed and hit around like a fastball to a judge, you know. Mm. I like that, though. I, I like that, that, that thought process. I really do. Deion Sanders here on the Rich Eisen Show. Okay. You mentioned Judge. I, I'm keen to know what you think. Have you been watching any of that? Yes. Prime? I can't help. I don't watch a lot of baseball, but, shoot, I'm so proud of that young man. I'm, it's unbelievable, man. Because, you know, baseball is a, a sport that's so rich in history. And when you start tinkering with history in baseball, mm -hmm. it's unbelievable because there's so much history. And this kid is unbelievable. He's been unbelievable from, from the beginning, first and foremost. But this year, it's, it's, it's even uh, – it's just crazy. And I'm following him every game. Well, I'm, 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 I'm watching. What do you think? Because, he, he, you know, he's walked 11 times, Dion, during his – after hitting 60 home runs. And, you know, there are some who are thinking that maybe he should be, you know, swinging more and then – uh, but that would take him out of his approach, right? I mean, yeah, what, he's still what? trying to win. The kid is trying to win. He's a good kid. Like if he if he was a selfish kid, um, like right. like some of our past, he'd have been swinging for the fence. But he's trying to win, 
and tried to help his team in all aspects. And I, that's what I respect about it. He's not just there swinging at everything. And how about uh, your former uh, skipper now with the Mets, getting the Mets in position oh with God. Buck Showalter? You got a good. I love me some Buck Showalter. I know you do. You got a. It's not too many men that I've been coached by that I love as I love Buck Showalter. You got a good story. He, the impact, the impact that he had on my life. Really, unbelievable. How so? Yeah. I mean, just Buck was like. A, I mean, he really got me to the point to take this serious, like to take that game. Don't just go out there and play a song. You could really be good. But taught me how to bunt. <laughs> you know, he, he just – I just had so much fun playing for him. I had so much fun that I didn't really want to leave Double A. I wanted to stay there because I wanted to learn more. But he told me, no, you're not going up. You, you, you're going to the show. You're not going to show. I said, what do you mean? He said, you're going to the show. I said, I don't know what that means. You're going to the Yankees. What? <laughs> like, like, like that was the conversation when he called me up, man, when I got the call up. So he, and, uh, he was the one. So he was the one who told you you were going to, to yeah, the major league yeah. level. We stayed in the same apartment complex. And he's like, uh, what do you got? What you cooking over there? Like, I think uh, we got uh, pork chop. That's back when I used to eat pork chop. Pork chop and baked beans and rice, my favorite meal. Um, the girl was cooking. And he said, well, I'm, I'm cooking somewhat the same. You want to come over here and eat? I said, well, my lady just cooked. Um, what's going on? And that's what he told me. Oh, my gosh. Did he? And, 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 then, that, and, then how, and then how soon after that did you encounter Carlton Fisk, Prime? <laughs> <laughs> Carlton Fisk lied. First of all, you know he lied. I told you that story. He lied. I, I, you, do you want to tell it here or do you want to? Yeah, he lied. I never. First of all, I would never disrespect the game. You don't know how respectful I am of people in the game. Yes. So, for him to lie and say I drew a dollar sign in the dirt, that was a lie. I, I drew. I grew up in inner city. I played baseball. We didn't like have chalk batting boxes, so I used to always draw half a circle, and it was like a V in the middle where I put my back foot and up to my stride point. That's what I always drew in the batter's box every time I went up my whole career, college on everywhere, and you know. He said I, I was drawing a dollar sign, and he, he yapped off at me. And, you know, back then, I didn't give a darn. I wasn't the historical type of guy. I didn't know anything about the history of the game and the respect level of the game. I just know at that time, if you challenged me, I was going to challenge you. If you act like you was going to put your hands on me, I'm going to put my hands on you first. That was the ignorant young crime. And that's just pretty much how it was. And he lied to the media and said that I drew a dollar sign in the dirt. and all. It was a lie. I said, well, just get the footage, guys. Just get the footage from the game. Just get it. <laughs> and, um, and then one last baseball story, and then I got one last thing for you, and then you can go on re- with your day if you don't mind, Prime. Um, you got a good Bo Jackson story? Uh, there's a book coming out on him shortly. Our friend Jeff Perlman is writing it. He's going to come in studio in short order. You got a good Bo story, well, Prime? Other than when he stiffed me and, and, and pretty much palmed my, my – Forehead like it was like he was a prayer warrior. <laughs> and I pray for when did that happen? When did that happen? When did that happen? Bo, Bo was Bo, and I can remember the play. It was a tall sweep left. They ran downhill, hmm. uh, toss left, toss right. They ran down it. I was playing left corner. I think we were probably about on the 40, 50 yard line, something like that. Maybe the other 40. Mm-hmm. And they did a sweep left to Bo, and I was on the opposite side of the field, opposite side. And I took the uh, – Coach Andrews always talked to us about the pursuit angle, and I had the perfect pursuit angle. And it was a, a, a interaction at probably about the 15-yard line. <laughs> 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 and I ran up on a man. I, I didn't understand at the time I was running up on a man. I just thought I was running up on a regular football player. But I ran up on a man, and he, he palmed my – Palm my helmet and just stiffed me down and went on the score. And I just knew once I got to the sideline, the guys were going to be clowning me. <laughs> and, and they did. But to Bo's credit, mm-hmm. we sat and talked a couple times in life, and he never mentioned it. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to say, Bo, let's just get this out of the way. All right, come on. Let's just get it out of the way. <laughs> but he never mentioned it. But Bo and I have only sat down one time together mm-hmm. and just talked about sports and life and what we were going through. Because if it wasn't no Bo, it wouldn't have been a prime. 
So that's how much respect and admiration. And they were trying to pit us against each other back in the day. And we had two totally different approaches to the game. But I, I, I love Bo Jackson. And, I really do. And, in and, every aspect. And then his baseball ability, too. I mean, we're seeing a picture of him oh and the Royals God. and then you and the Yankees. Look at that photograph. Look at those yeah. children on the he screen. Called, my Bo God. called me a few years back. A few years back, Rich, he called me. And I just recognized the voice. He said, you owe me. I said, what are you talking about? You owe me. I said, Bo, what are you talking about? I just left the doctor getting my third or uh, fourth surgery on my shoulder that I threw out of place. And I dislocated when I was diving at your ball. <laughs> the triple, the, well, inside the parker that I hit, I mean, he had three home runs. I said, well, Bo, uh, that wasn't my fault. And you just got to understand, we had four home runs on the day. It was a great day for both of us. Oh, <laughs> we had four. <laughs> and people forget, Prime, you could have been the uh, World Series MVP, right, if it wasn't for Joe Carter, right? Correct? Back in the day? Is that right? Uh, if, it, if it, yeah, you're right. You could have you're been. exactly right. I mean, you're right. uh, you, you had an incredible World Series with the Braves. Yeah. Superb. I mean, yeah, if it wasn't for uh, John Sherhold, I probably would have been MVP. Oh, uh, you, you, you don't want to go there, do you? Have, you don't go there. I would have played more. I'd have played more, Rich. I'm sorry. I'd have just been in the game more. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but all right. Other guy. I don't know about the other guy. I won't even mention him, but okay. you know. I know who you're talking about. You used to be a broadcaster. <laughs> uh, all right. So. Uh, How's Susie and the kids, Rich? We're How's great, you? man. We're great. We're great. We just okay, have the. I just want to remind. Can you remind your kids that they have a black uncle? Because I don't. Because <laughs> I don't. I don't think you really talk about that at dinner time and all that. And just that put is. My picture on the table. That just isn't. put my picture on the table with a plate in front of that, so I can just sit and eat with my my nephews. And okay. <laughs> You're ridiculous, man. Yes. <laughs> I will do that. I will do that tonight. I will do that tonight. All right, Prime. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more next time. Um, I love right. you. I love you guys. Love you too. You Thanks, Prime. The crew there? Is the crew oh, there? Yeah. Oh, hey, Prime. Delta Delta Prime. What's up, do buddy? Wanna, do you want to do this show again, or is you that where you're 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 you're, you're you, you've moved on from the media completely? What do you want no, to do? I have moved on from the media. I'll always be entertained with the media, but I, I got to come. I got to come back. You got you got the best darn crew in the world those guys are so professional and so on point man and they're they're really good at what they do well thank you for the, the, uh, that, the, the that, feeling man. is mutual the feeling is mutual it's prime time right. everybody uh check out restore at restorehair.com all you got to just do is just look at dion just one look at dion um and my children will do that at dinner tonight with a beautiful eight by ten glossy that will happen this evening take care i, prime. I like that all right uh, god bless the same to you there's Dion's much love prime. love that prime time.